John Tory. Y'all may know him as our new mayor. You know, the guy that had the T.O. in his ads for his campaign? Yeah, that one. That one with the plan for a smart track, which by now doesn't really seem that smart. That guy. He won the election with 40% of the votes. And I am more than infuriated with this news. Putting aside all of his other flaws, such as his planning for this smart track idea, among other things, did you know that he believes women should be paid less than men? Yeah, he actually said that, and he blames it on the women because they just don't ask for money from their boss. <sighs> Despite the fact that I identify as a feminist, I am 15 years old, and just by that statement, even I can see that this was the wrong man to vote into our city's government. Now he defends himself by saying his accusations may be out of date, but should we really believe that this means he has changed his beliefs on the issue? No, we shouldn't. Also, that whole women don't ask idea is completely ridiculous, because even when women do ask and do everything we are supposed to to get ahead, we are still given less than men. The problem isn't whether or not women are doing all the right things to advance in the workplace, it's that men like John Tory don't have to. Oh, and I should probably add that when defending his initial statement on his opinion of the wage gap, he said, young women learn to play golf. Yeah, like women don't play sports. Like everything like the wage gap would be fixed if we knew how to take a stick and hit a ball into a hole. Thanks, John Tory, for your wonderful advice. Everything will be fixed now because you force women to play golf. Man, I really hope Toronto sees what a mistake they have, we have made by voting this man into office. Note that 40% of the 60% that voted, voted for John Tory, the man that believes men are superior to women. And if you identify as a woman, I really hope John Tory becomes transparent to you and you see through all of his sexist and old-fashioned ways. And if you're just a citizen of Toronto, never mind your gender identity, I hope you recognize that he is not a good pick to be representing our city. Thanks.